Hi Comet K 2025 aspirants, we are just few days left for the exam and now many of you have attempted many mock tests, right? And I have seen a common problem with all of you that you are not able to manage the time or you are not able to solve 180 questions in 180 minutes, right? So there will be certain mistakes that you will be doing because of which this is not happening. So in this video, I am going to tell a detailed strategy how you should be attempting or how sh you should be managing the the time in the exam so that you can solve 180 questions in 180 minutes okay so in case of examination you get 20 minutes buffer but here it is dot 180 minutes so you have to be very very precise and particular in your strategy and I'll also be telling you the uh, mistakes that you should be avoiding so that these uh, you do not have uh, like skip any question okay let's get started so in this uh, video first we will be having so since you have two three days left for the exam not two three days I think only two days are left so since you have two days left for the exam so what you can do before the exam that I will tell you what you should be doing during the exam next what is the bonus thing that is what avoid mistakes that you should be avoiding and one must thing that you should be doing through the entire process of the exam okay so coming to before exam so before exam please practice with a timer so if you are doing any offline mock test okay if you are attempting offline mock test but you know mock test a comet k examination is online but since if you haven't purchased any mock test if you are just doing it in or uh, uh, from any books or if you have some question papers and you are solving it then please set a timer and do okay and if you have online uh, mock test if you have taken our crash course we have online mock test so there the timer will be already there you don't have to worry for that right so always put a timer and start solving so if you are writing whatever mock test you are writing within this one or two days just put a timer and do that okay second thing understand the question paper pattern so you should be very thorough with the question paper that is there are three sections in each section there are 60 questions right so you should have a complete understanding of the pattern and next very important thing is develop a time distribution strategy so you should have for example according to me i think chemistry you should be able to give around 40 minutes physics 50 minutes and math 70 minutes and revision time 20 minutes this is what i feel is an ideal distribution of time but again you can do according to your strength and weakness uh, you can just divide this another 10 minutes to physics and maths or chemistry according to your wish you can do but you should have a complete plan that how much time I have to give for chemistry, physics and maths and the same you should practice during the mock test, okay. Now we will move when we are inside the exam hall, okay. So very important thing, read the instructions carefully. So since it is an online exam, you should be very thorough with the interface, okay. Where the sections are being shown, where the question numbers are shown, how to go to the next question, how to select the answer. Everything should be very, very clear with the interface. For that, you can do Comet K in their website. They have given many mock tests. You can practice that. So be very friendly with the interface first. Second thing check your system this is very important check that your details your name your roll number everything that is given is correct or not okay if that is it's not, if there is some problem with this that will kill your time in the examination so don't do that before only check these things okay next we will move to start with the strong subject so you have uh, physics chemistry and maths so whichever subject you find most the easy one or most strong one which subject you have prepared maximum syllabus please take that subject they see many students might think that okay I will take the difficult subject first and I will give more time easy subject anyway I can do and I will uh, manage the time right that is a thought process that students have and they start with the difficult subject but if you do so what may happen is you may spend so much time and in a difficult subject where the questions are also you are not very sure and you may miss on the easy and scoring questions so here it is very important that please start with the easiest subject, easiest section that is for you, okay. This will not only boost your confidence but will also save your time. You, are, you will not be missing out on those questions which you are knowing, right. So please start with the strong subject. Next very important, keep an eye on the timer. So this is I have taken a screenshot from the Comet K uh, mock test interface. You can see here on the left sorry right top the timer will be shown how much time is left so that you should be always having a check okay 
now coming to next thing that is don't get stuck in a particular question so now see suppose this question is there you are having doubt on that but like for example you know this question okay but you are not able to recollect or you are sure that okay if you give some more time you will be able to solve this question in that case select mark for review and next if you are completely unaware of the question do not mark for review okay see when you toss too many questions mark for review you get confused and at the end of the time you don't know which one to be reviewed actually so those questions which you are very sure that you will be able to solve it if you give more time please click mark for review only on those questions those questions which you have no idea just leave it anyway if you leave the question also it will come as red in the right side you can see red color so you can go back and do that so after solving all the questions you should come for this reviewed question that you have to review and then you have to come for the red questions now if you do all the questions for review that will again take a lot of time right so only those questions which you think for example some calculation based question is there some memory based questions is there which you can recall like so if certain questions you have some idea about that you can solve it if you give proper time don't only select those questions as mark for review okay if you have don't idea just leave the question and go for the next question do not put mark for review there okay next last 15 to 20 minutes you should keep for revision during this the questions that you have kept for review those questions you should check the numericals question you should check and you should check once that all the questions you have attempted or not since there is no negative marking make sure that you attempt all the 180 questions okay and also you can use smart guessing at this point of time okay whatever questions you don't know just because there is no negative marking so you can take a risk and make a smart guess by eliminating two options first okay after that uh, next thing very important is what things you should be avoiding in the exam so first thing is spending too much time in one question as i told you you haven't seen the entire question paper you don't have the time to read the entire question paper right so if you are spending a lot of time in one question and later you find that certain very easy questions are there but you don't have time to solve them you will regret a lot so maximum 1 minute to 1.5 or i can hardly say 2 minutes more than 2 minutes if a question is taking please leave that and go to the next question next ignoring instructions so please be care very careful read the instructions this is online exam many of you might be writing the online exam for the first time so you should be very very careful with the instructions second not leaving time for revision this is also very important you should keep at least 10 minutes i have given you a buffer of 20 minutes but 10 minutes is also enough you should revise at least all the questions you have attempted or not at least that much time for revision should be there and next panicking if the question is tough so if the question has come tough it is something out of the syllabus do not worry it will be tough for everyone right whoever are attempting the paper everybody will be finding that question tough so don't get panic with tougher questions just leave that and go to the next question if you solve maximum questions then one tough question if you leave that doesn't matter much right so please put your patience calmness at the peak at this point of time don't hurry don't panic just try to solve as many questions as you can correctly okay next if i talk about the very important thing that you have to continue every day till the exam is over is to trust yourself you have prepared well right you have given your 100% efforts you have practiced previous year questions you have done a mock test so definitely you will be able to solve questions in the exam so please do not worry please do not have self doubt at this point of time just believe in yourself trust your preparation and you will be able to do wonders in the exam right so if you are ready for comet k 2025 examination please put down hashtag i am ready okay that's all in this video thank you for watching and i hope that you manage you use these tips in the examination hall to manage time properly okay thank you and do not forget to subscribe the channel